Are we live? Nice. What's up guys? So today I'm going to be taking you with me to another workout. We're at the gym and uh, I've switched up some things within my training. I'm working with an upper and lower body days. So, um, and they're split into a power slash strength day and a hypertrophy day. So I'm working with PHUL. Some of you guys might know um, that split. It stands for power hypertrophy upper lower so I do upper lower rest upper lower the first two workouts are strength or the power and the last two workouts of the week would be hypertrophy Monday Tuesday rest Thursday Friday rest rest repeat does that make sense um, so that's what's going on nothing too exciting today I'm just slowly coming to get a lift in and today's upper body hypertrophy, by the way. And um, so, and then I've got work later. I've got to work at the gym. I've got, got to do the desk. And then I'm seeing a client later tonight. So, um, yeah, I got to drink my pre-workout because I have not mixed my creatine and C4 yet. So let's do that real quick. I need someone to lean on, swear not to trust again That's just my innocence, I fall in love too much That's just my innocence Alright, so, um, you know what, before I go in, I want to do like a quick intro I feel like I need to introduce myself in a way, kind of let you guys know a little bit more of who I am and what I do So, uh, obviously my name is Raul Cervantes, I'm 24 years old uh, I was born in Mexico. I was born and raised in Mexico. So if you look at Mexico, find the map, look up Mexico City. And I'm just north of Mexico City. That's where I was born and raised um, in a town called um, Guanajuato, León, Guanajuato. So that's where I'm from. I'm bilingual. So I do speak Spanish, obviously. I'm, I'm fluent in Spanish. Um, for my Spanish-speaking people, hablan español. Así me ayudan a practicar. Um, so... 24, I was born in Mexico, bilingual, uh, I'm a personal trainer uh, here at, the, at my local gym. Well, it's not my like local gym, it's like the, my neighborhood gym. This is a semi-private club where I live and we have a fitness center. It's actually bigger than your normal neighborhood gym. So this is where I personal train. Um, this is where I also work the fitness center desk. So I work the, the, like the check-in desk where people come in and check in and stuff. Um, and I'm also an online trainer. So that is what I do right now. I just graduated from Kennesaw State University here in Georgia. This is where I live now in Atlanta. And I went to KSU, just graduated, and I have my degree in exercise science. So I'm pumped. I really like science. I like the human body, I like anatomy. I love fitness. I love health, nutrition. All that stuff is what I really enjoy doing. So um, let's see, what else? Um, if I can move anywhere, right now it would probably be if, if I had to stay in the US it would be California probably um, fitness is just huge in Cali so um, that's like my first go-to place as it would be for a lot of people into fitness I'm sure um, if I could move anywhere outside of the US go abroad I would go to Europe and probably live in France I really like the French language I really like the culture I like the cuisine, so I think I would move to France if I had to move abroad. And if I had to stay in the U.S., I'd go to Cali ASAP. Let, give me a second. Let me go ahead and start drinking this. Let's go. All right, so check this grass area out right here. This is on the side of the uh, gym, so that's the gym. This is a whole little field. I think this would be a perfect area if it was maintained a little better, or even if, if it was as is. A little area for a boot camp class, a group training class with some sleds, tires, hammers, like um, sledge hammers on tires. That'd be awesome. Battle rope. Might have to make that happen. I need someone to lean on. Swear not to trust again. That's just my innocence. I fall in love too much. That's just my innocence. I'll be fine as soon as I fall free. Long go the days were 
flashing the way too high that you can't surf Trapped in the sand curse, run to your legs burst Fall on your face first, all in the day's work And that was it. You know, I'm getting a little annoyed with this camera. Um, it is such like overheat on me at the most important parts of like when I'm when I'm talking or um, when I'm lifting. So you guys missed uh, some side lateral raises that I did and uh, biceps. I'm gonna go home, shower, grab some food, and then. Come back, come back to the gym, I gotta work the desk, so. Sun don't shine, if the world's on fire, if the oceans rise, our love will survive. If the skies fall down, if time runs out, when the tone hits out. All right, so I've been at the gym for a good bit now, uh, answering phone calls, spotting people, training, answering more phone calls, uh, picking up stuff, like a lot of weights that people don't put away. Answering more phone calls, it's time to eat. Now I've come away to this other little room where we have these like therapy beds because, see that's my desk over there, way over there, right? And I'm all the way in here because I'm about to eat my food, and I don't like to eat in front of people. I don't like to. I don't like for people to walk into the gym, sign in, and see me eating rice, chicken, and avocado. I just don't feel like it's one polite to do that. Two, uh, people are coming in here to work out. The last thing they probably want to smell is food. So I just eat here. Okay. So while on the topic of food, um, oh by the way hot sauce make your food taste good because plain food just isn't gonna cut it and uh, you're probably gonna get bored so throw some mustard on it there's some hot sauce throw throw whatever you want on there as long as like you're in moderation and uh, what I was saying um, now I've got my food right it's cold, it was in my lunchbox over there, which is on the floor. Um, it's cold, I've got my food with me, it's cold. And I've told this to so many people, so many people, especially if you know me like personally, like, you've, like you're a friend of mine, somebody who comes to the gym here. A lot of people have told me, hey man, how do you stick to eating the food you eat? And you know, it's I can't always eat the same foods or I just can't do it, I, I break, eventually I break. One, you just have to do it. Two, you have to have with, with food with you all the time. I have my meals with me all the time, like I do here. And if it means eating my food cold, if that means eating cold chicken, cold rice, so be it. I worked at Abercrombie at the mall for four, like four and a half years. And for all those four years, while I was working, I ate my food cold. Anybody who worked with me can vouch. Anybody who works here, anybody who knows me personally can vouch. You guys are seeing it. I'm eating food, my food cold. So there's no excuses. You guys, if you're too soft to eat your food cold, 
and to stick on, on, on like your routine, to stick, to stick on track, to be on schedule. I don't know, man. And then this is probably not for you. This lifestyle is probably not for you. Like if you have to have your food look all pretty and shit and have a plate and have it heated up and have somebody basically feed you, then I don't know. I don't know how to help you. You just have to eat your food. You just have to have it with you. Have it wherever you go. I literally, I carry my lunchbox to school. Well, I graduated, but I carried it to school. I would carry it to work. Uh, any job that I've had, I have carried my meals with me and they've been in a lunchbox and if I don't have a microwave, I eat it cold. I just do, I just don't care. I just wanna make progress. I wanna stick to my stuff and I know that eating my food is gonna get me there and if that means eating it cold, then I'm gonna eat it cold. Okay, real quick, check this out. I was just scrolling through Instagram. Jim Critz, Coach Critz, he was, or is, the strength and conditioning coach for the football team at Kennesaw State University. That's where I went to school. Um, I had the uh, pleasure of working alongside Coach K uh, for six months. I coached the team. These guys you see here in the videos and on the posts, I got to coach a lot of them. And um, it was such an awesome experience. A lot of people don't know, and I mean, I, I don't, it's not like I tell people to say, oh, dude, that was so cool, I work with a college football team. No, it was just a really neat experience. Um, working with athletes is definitely, by far, very different than working with general population. And it was, it was such a neat experience, um, and Coach K taught me so much, and different things, like he was a great mentor. Uh, different of the things that he taught me, I still apply to my life actually and to my training that I do with my clients. Being alongside Coach K was definitely an experience um, that I'll never forget. Um, for six months, I woke up at five in the morning, uh, like 4.45 in the morning, and I had to be in the weight room for a staff meeting with Coach K and like three other interns. Um, and we had a staff meeting at 5.30 on the dot 6 a.m. was punishment for the athletes who had punishment and around 7.30 a.m. is when we started our training. And we went from 7.30 all the way to about 11.30 in, um, in the morning until about noon. Um, and then after that I had classes. So very rough semester for me, very hard semester. Um, but it was, it was definitely an experience and something that I would not go back and do any differently or decide to not ever, you know, like that is something I, I kind of encourage people to do. If you have to do an internship for your school, which most people have to do an internship and you're into the sports, you know, science field, exercise science field, definitely see if you can intern with a sports team at your university. If the sun don't shine, if the world's on fire, if the oceans rise, our love will survive. If the skies fall down, if time runs out, when the trumpet sounds, our love will survive.